Hello, everyone. This is IBN. And for our first ever interview, we're introducing a special guest. He's a comedian, a social media influencer, and an up-and-coming boxer, APAP. How are you doing, man? What's up? What's up, man? I'm doing good. Can't complain, man. Enjoying this LA weather. Nice. That's nice. All right. Uh, so for the people that don't know you, can you tell us a bit about your background and what you do? Okay. So, you know, I, um, I start by saying, you know, I'm a comedian, actor, content creator, jumped into the comedy world around nine years ago, jumped into acting about five years ago, um, and been doing that, moved to LA, started taking boxing a little more serious. You know what I'm saying? Training here up at Ten Goose. Shout out to Ten Goose, man. Legendary gym. If you ever in LA, make sure you tap in. But uh, yeah, man, it's pretty much been, I've just missed to do it all. I don't, I can't even put a limit on myself. I even used to rap. <laughs> I don't. I used to do it all, man. Yeah, a bit of everything. Yeah, bro. Uh, so about boxing. When when are we gonna see you in the ring? I've seen all the boxing training everywhere. You know, everyone's excited. Yeah. When are we gonna see you in the ring? I I mean I I got some news coming, man. I just you know just waiting on on some paperwork to get get in motion and stuff like that and, and finalize some things. So I don't want to say too much right now, but. It's pretty much finalized, but once I really sign that dotted line, we're going to see what 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 it is. I don't want to spoil it, you know, but it's coming very soon, man. And I'm excited, you know, it's go time. Yeah. Uh, so speaking about boxing, who was on your, like, hit list about, like, influencer boxing? Who was on your hit list? Man, influencers, who we got? Of course, we got Dean. Dean got the belts. So got to, got to, got to come for Dean, man. Wally. Uh, Ace, Pulley, um, NNA Productions, you know, just to name a few that's in my weight class. Um, that's pretty much the hit list right there. I feel like I can kind of run through them guys, you know, light work. So it um, was it was rumored that you were gonna fight with Lee Sharks, but like it was just a rumor. Do you want to explain how that happened? Yeah, basically, uh, my agent got hit up three-day notice and, um, you know, asked if I wanted to fight because apparently, I guess, um, NNA, he didn't, uh, his visa got denied or something like that. And um, I was like, yeah, I'll take the fight. But I was having some passport issues and we were on the verge of getting them straightened out. But by the time we, you know, got everything in order, um, you know, somebody else had signed the contract. And uh, apparently... He didn't pass his his health inspection or something like that, but yeah, it was it was short notice. It wasn't really like supposed to be my initial fight for real. It was just something I was gonna take on short notice. Yeah. Uh. So, uh, can you tell us how you balance training and also your comedy career? Like, how like what do you do? How do you balance it all? So pretty much like with the comedy, like me being a stand up comedian, that's all pretty much nighttime type gigs. You know what I'm saying? Like creating content, I do that off the phone, you know, in a split second. And uh, I just make sure I always make time for the gym, like whether it's in the morning, in the afternoon, you know, I always have an even balance because the gym is open at 8 a.m. Uh, till 8 p.m., Monday through Friday. So it ain't really no excuse, you know. It's just all about making time. And the way my comedy career is set up, you know, I kind of like make my own schedule with everything and, and just kind of plan everything pretty much around the gym, honestly. Uh, so it's like it's more like of like a side hustle now, right? You're focusing on like gym training and all that. You know, you, yeah, you I wouldn't gym. say it's a. It's still, it's still, you know, it's still up there. Mm -hmm. I actually just had a show Sunday, um, that went very well. So it's still one of them things like I'm I'm doing, but it just got to be like some like a good a show that's worth it, something that. It's going to make sense. Like, I'm kind of overdoing, like, small shows and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm definitely putting more gas on the pedal when it comes to the training and stuff like that because, of course, want to make sure my hands stay sharp and stuff like that. But at the same time, you know, want to stay in shape, keep my body right, shit like that. Yeah, man, that's good to hear. Yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm just wondering, you know, like, you know, you're doing a lot of things at the moment, you know. What, what inspired you to, you know, start taking on, like, boxing? I'm just kind of curious. 
I've always had a, a love for the sport of boxing. Like I always enjoy watching it. You know what I'm saying? And just having the access to actually do it and realizing like, you know, I ain't gonna sit up here and say I'm no Floyd Mayweather. I'm no damn legend with the hands, but it's just like knowing that mo most times when I've trained in the past, a person that has trained me and seen me box, they always give me the, oh, you look like, I can tell you that you just naturally know how to fight. You know what I'm saying? So it was something I picked up easy. You know, it wasn't like I had to be, you know, molded or nothing like that coming from where I'm from. But of course, it's always, it was always room for improvement. But it's just something I just enjoy. It's stress relieving. Like I said, it keeps you in shape, you know, and it just makes you, it just gives you a confidence boost. Walking around here, like, I'll whoop anybody ass. Like, that's how I feel. Must be, it must be a great feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna act like no big Mike Tyson motherfucker. Just, I'm gonna whoop his. I might be confident, knowing I'm gonna get my ass whooped, but just, it just gives you a, a edge. It just makes you feel good about yourself. Uh, so how did you start getting into comedy? Well, um, I don't know if y'all do y'all remember that app called Vine? Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So I seen a lot of my peers doing that shit when it first came out. And um, I thought it, it was funny as hell. And I just said, fuck it, I'm going to try it. And I tried it in the first video I did. I don't even remember, but I know I watched it and I laughed at it. And I'm like, oh, shit, you know, I'm laughing at my damn self. I'm pretty sure I can make somebody laugh. It's worth a try. And um, it went from there. And I grew up as a child. I watched a lot of stand up comedians, a lot of legends. You know what I'm saying? And always have been a funny person, a goofy person, made people around me laugh. So it just all kind of made sense going in that direction. So, like, what inspired you to take on the boxing challenge? I mean, it's a lot of uh, boxing talent from where I'm from. I'm from the DMV, uh, that's DC, Maryland, and Virginia. A lot of talent, you know what I'm saying? And just uh, uh, just feeling like you know, I'm I'm in the best shape of my life. Feel like I got some good hands on me, you know what I'm saying. And I feel like that the 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 world of influence of boxing hasn't seen or met a person like me. Like you know, I'm from uh, I'm from the trenches, man. So it's just like bringing my charisma and stuff like that. I want to show another side of the side of boxing. You know what I'm saying that they don't see. You feel me, like. I want to like, I really want to just, <laughs> I want to take it over and be, and be the top guy in my weight class. So that's just what I, it's a, it's a challenge for me that I want to get, I want to get accomplished. Yeah, man. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. So um, do you have any future plans or like projects you have in the works, you know, both in comedy and boxing? Um, Comedy wise, I actually did get some very good news. Uh, be hosting a very famous comedy club soon. Um, on a specific night, not sure yet, but that was very great news. Um, I just got booked for a film for a movie role a week ago that shoots in May, um, be shooting out in Texas. So that's major. So that's pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Then of course I got the major announcement coming, you know what I'm saying? It coming soon, real soon, hopefully within the next few days or a week or so. So that's, that's pretty much, yeah. that's it right now for the next upcoming months. What's uh, the club called? Say again. Do you have a name for the club? Oh, the Laugh Factor. Oh, nice. Laugh Factor. Yes, sir. Interesting. So, like, what, what, what do you, what would you tell to others who are interested in pursuing both comedy and like boxing at the same time? What advice would you give them? I mean, if you want to do it, go all the way. You know what I'm saying? Because you have time for both. If if you say you don't have time to get in shape, then you bullshitting, like you have time. It don't take nothing but at the minimum two hours to go in the gym, box, you know what I'm saying, train, you know what I'm saying? Then the way a boxing gym is set up, the clock is always running, three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. So you always, it's always running. You ain't got to worry about nobody telling you when to stop and go, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, if you're going to really do it, do it. Don't, don't half-ass it, you feel me? Like, that's one thing I could tell you. Like, we're calm. You're going to create content, pick your phone up, start recording. 
take nothing. I don't take nothing but five minutes. You still got 24 hours left. 24, what is it, 24 hours and, and goddamn some change left to, to go to the gym and do whatever. So it don't, people make excuses, you know, say they ain't got time for the fitness and shit like that. And then you realize 35, 40, they fat as shit out of shape. You know what I'm saying? Even if you ain't going to box, man, get get your ass in the gym, get on the treadmill, stairmaster, do something. Take take your health serious. Your health is your wealth. You ain't you can't enjoy life if you're not healthy. It's a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm just curious. Like, uh, you're a comedian, you're a boxer, you're an actor, and you're a writer too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I've written a few um few of my own sketches on YouTube. I also I also wrote. Um, the entire first season of my own uh, web series oh, on YouTube as well. So hey, I got that, the, you know what I'm saying? What's the name of the web series? Do you want to shout it out? Um, it's called The House. So on YouTube, if you go to my YouTube, APAP, A-Y-Y-E-P-A-P, it'll be like the first episode is pinned to my um YouTube page. So you could just track it from there. It's five episodes. Nice, man. So um, as you are a upcoming boxer comedian, you know, social media influencer, you're able to maintain the consistency, you know, as you said, in the gym, uh, get the training in and everything. So like many, many people find it hard to like find motivation to pursue their dreams. So like, what is it that motivates you and like makes you pursue your careers and everything? I mean, knowing that, you know, I got a lot of people looking up to me, you know what I'm saying? I got a strong fan base that pushes me, you know what I'm saying? Strong family and friends that support me. You feel me? And knowing that, you know, your life can change in a day just by staying consistent. You know, you get that one phone call, that one contract, that one anything, whether it's comedy related, movie related, boxing related, whatever. Just your life can really change in an instant for the better. So, you know, I'm always pushing for that and just being able to just, you know, have that life changing moment in a positive way. Yeah. And, um, out of all the things you do, like comedy, boxing, write, uh, writing, acting, which one would you say like you enjoy the most? Damn, that's a tough one. I would, I feel like I would say, um, uh, mm, I want to say acting, simply because acting. it's just like you get to embody a character and just, you know, make it your own. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like when I'm on set, I'm just super focused, locked in. Uh, not even just being an actor, but just, you know, if I see something that may not look right and I got some advice on it, you know, giving some advice and just being able to just be there and just be all I can be with that. You know what I'm saying? I just really enjoy being on set. But I also want to say, like, stand-up comedy may have a little bit of edge over that because just being on stage and making people laugh, bro, like, seeing these people laugh, getting the reaction, you kind of feed, you really feed off of that energy. And um, like when I'm doing stand-up comedy and everything is clicking, like I don't even, I can't even think about anything but the crowd, jokes, and just having fun. So, you know, stand-up comedy might have an edge for real. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> uh, so... Let's. Uh, what What is your end goal? What is your legacy you're trying to like make here? What's your end goal towards? Hmm. Man, end goal, really, just to live a happy and comfortable life. I want to be able to live a happy, comfortable, financially free life, and leave generational wealth. That would that would be that would be fine. Happy, healthy as well. Happy, healthy. You know, financially free life that leaves generational wealth and stuff like that that's my end goal just to be as great as i can be honestly that's nice i feel like that's for everyone too like you know yeah like the emphasis on the happy you know yeah. what i'm saying like it's a lot of rich people out here wealthy people that have miserable lives lonely lives like you know all the money in the world and just wake up crying and shit because they just feel miserable alone i don't want to be that you know, I want to feel great every morning. I wake up and be happy. And, you know, even if I, whenever I do become wealthy, I want to wake up and be happy because I enjoy life. Like, I'm happy to be alive type shit. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. So can you talk about the creative process you have when it comes to making people other laugh? Man, it's my mind moves at like a thousand miles per second. Like, bro, I just, when it comes to like skits, I honestly just, if I get an idea, I just drop everything and do it. When it comes to stand-up comedy, it's a little different. I try to keep my stand-up comedy separate from my internet content. So I actually write out jokes when I think of them. I don't force it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I naturally come up with a joke that I think is funny, I'll write it down. Um, same with content. If I naturally come up with an idea that's funny, I'll shoot the skit. Like, and if I can't get it right, you know, I might take a break. Or sometimes I may be shooting something, get done, and realize, like, this shit ain't funny. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to be honest with yourself. That's pretty much how it goes. Thank you so much for coming here. Uh, you know, I hope to see you again. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming here. We, yeah, we really, really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Hey, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all stay tuned, man. I'm going to have some news for y'all in, in, in a little bit. Yeah, we can't wait. We can't wait. All right, bro. I'm going to holler at y'all. All right, bro. Good luck with the journey, bro. All right. Appreciate it.